Here are 10 mistakes that you're making every single day. Number one. Be a little bitch. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Disrespectful thing men do. Um, come up to you in public when you don't want them to. Like me right now, right here. Oh yeah, high five. None of you. Elbows? No. Oh, actually when men... Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. We will no longer accept any type of feminist man hating in any form. And like this demonstrates the secret to everything, doesn't it? It's just stop giving the wrong type of women attention. Draw a line in the sand if they choose to cross it. Just walk the fuck away. End of story. Ways you were gonna end up alone. Yeah. It's okay. You can find someone, but you have to change your ways. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so how much is the total? Seventeen. Uh, yeah. One forty-six. Seventeen. No, 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 I refuse. No, cash. Uh, you can do cash. Give me one second. I could just use my card. Yeah, you can. So, what you doing? I'm calling the MIC so they can give me permission. They gotta give you permission to use the my card. Sorry. I could just use card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just use card. Let me ask them. I don't want to use cash. I want to use card now. You could just hang up and let's just do card. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. The fact that it's taking this long because he got to call out the other people, bro. And it's 17 and all of that. And I forgot my card. Hmm? And you're a gold digger, bro. Oh, damn! Oh. Yeah! My dog! <laughs> you're a gold digger, bro. I'm not, I'm not buying none of this. Don't do this shit. You dead. Yeah. I'm not buying none of this, bro. You're a gold digger, bro. She's a gold digger, bro. I'm not buying her none of that. If you guys want prayer, I can pray for you. You two motherfuckers need Jesus. Please pray for her. She need prayer. She need prayer. Watch out, bro. You're a single mom. That's why you're a single mom. That's why he left you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, what must have been going through her mind, bro? I bet she was so happy to be getting this, pulling this $17,000 bag from this guy, squeezing him forever. Like, $17,000? For a fucking bag get the fuck out of here man like these fashion companies have people so goddamn brainwashed to be spending that kind of money on a useless little fucking bag and here's the thing like even if she's technically not a gold digger which i'm sure she is how could any good woman accept a gift like that seventeen thousand dollar gift on one of your first dates i'm assuming this is their first date if you're trying to get to know someone how the fuck can you accept something like that so early on like if you end up with a woman who's who's willing to accept something like that so early on even if it's offered like i guarantee you're getting yourself into trouble empty river what's this crazy song <laughs> this guy parties me me when your girl no you you when your girl when your when your girl see when your girl sees me when when like when i'm like shirtless nice. so, yo, so, yo. So, soaking wet get i get it. nailed it this is how to talk to a feminist let's begin so the history of feminism be quiet actually... shut up shut up oh Feminism uh, claims to be about equality, but is often confused with man-hating. How yep. can feminists yep. repair this misconception? I don't think it's our job to repair it. Oh, it is a fucking surprise. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I think that's it's, I think it's, um, I think it's some people's fragile egos, men in particular, that like don't like being targeted like that. I don't know. Oh, really? I just think yeah. that that's not ours to repair. Like that was never, that was never like the premise on which it was built. It was just built in a way that like. I don't know, we can own our own homes and land and be financially independent and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I would agree. I feel like, I don't know, some women take feminism as like, oh, f man. And like, again, that's not our that's situation not our to take. repair. Like, yeah, we try to respect the male's feelings as much as yeah. possible because they're already offended that we have women's rights. <laughs> Let them have their dominance. Here's my vote. Fuck all of you. Hey, gentlemen, chill. Like, whether you realize it or not, this is actually good news, man. Because this means when it comes to so-called toxic masculinity or the patriarchy or any of these other ways that women try to demonize men, well, even if there's a sliver of truth to it, it's not our responsibility to fix it, right? Or, hold on, or it could be that these women are just too fucking dumb to realize the double standards and hypocrisy in what they're saying. I don't know, what do you think? Well, let's see what the comments had to say. <laughs> Accountability dodged. <laughs> This is why women weren't allowed to speak freely a hundred years ago. They love thwarting accountability. 
Her first word said it all. It's about man-hating, basically. Western women are becoming so unbearable. Mental health crisis for this demographic is beyond repair. Depression medication will continue to multiply each year, and most of them will somehow still continue to blame men. No doubt. It's funny because if men done something bad to women, those women would expect other men to hold bad men accountable. Why can't women be the same? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Ego over accountability. So a large number of women being behind the, the end all men movement and men seeing an issue with that is the man's problem. Yeah. Anybody else in their post rage era laughing at all their answers? I don't know if I'm there yet, but I get it. It's something that has ears, but don't listen. A woman. That is not correct. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Put the dollar See, back. See, you ain't listening. Next question. He got a point. I'm going to let y'all slide with that one. Correct. Thank you. Oh, man, why does my lunch look like it's 32 and ready to settle down? Oh, oh Jesus, fuck. Hey. What? What were you saying? Can you repeat that again? Why didn't you answer your phone? I text you so many times I call you. Yeah, but why did you call me or text because me? Because you left your phone in my car. Can you hear yourself? What do you mean? I couldn't call you or text you. Yeah, why didn't you answer it? Because I forgot my phone in your car. Get the fuck out of here. Um, if a man speaks his mind in a forest and no woman hears him, is he still wrong? <laughs> good question. Very good question. Intelligent. I've had it with men who want to have sex with me, but then they go tell their friends, Hey, I just had, took one for the team. I had sex with a big old gal. Meanwhile, you're munching on my tw like you haven't eaten in 13 years. Okay. I don't like this. I'm gonna go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While I have you here, if you're enjoying the video, please do the channel a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, you know the drill. I appreciate you. All that shit really does help the channel grow. There is a little more video left for you though, so let's get right back into it. Hey! Does that make me gay? You betcha. <laughs> Bro, I thought this was fucking hilarious, man. Like, aside from the pissing on other people part, like, who hasn't been stuck like this? Caught by someone trying to walk away sideways taking a leak? Like, this one brought me back to my childhood. It's official coming from you. Have you seen my glasses? I think you left them in the living room. I'm headed up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Some women are not going to like the truth, but the truth is there are fundamental differences between men and women. Some of those fundamental differences make women better than men, and some of those fundamental differences make men better than women. What are the fundamental differences that you're referring to? Like, women are more adapt to compassion, which I think is the thing that makes us most human. Men are more adapt to perseverance, which mm. makes you successful in today's mm. day and age. I like this one. Now you may have missed that, but I think it is extremely telling the state of female culture when you watch the beginning of that clip, that this woman says that I think some women are not going to like what I say, then proceeds to say the most blatantly fucking obvious thing you can think of. She didn't say men and women, she didn't say people, she said I don't think women are going to like what I say. Because I think for the, for the most part, Men are under no misconceptions that men and women are different, that we have our strengths and our weaknesses and that we complement each other. But modern women have just been brainwashed by feminism. They are lost, man. And I don't think it's any mystery that female culture is dropping off a cliff. Now, that being said, this is proof that there are decent women with common sense left out there. Now, they may be fewer and far between these days, but that doesn't mean you should go around thinking that there are no good women left. You know what I mean? The last thing you want is to become like these man-hating women we see online or that you may have experienced. Just because you may have had bad experiences doesn't mean you should go around thinking that there are no good women left, that all women are trash, right? Because in this world, in this life, you find what you're looking for. You go around thinking negatively, you're gonna find negativity. You go around thinking all women are terrible, you're only gonna find terrible women. It all starts with you. It all starts with the way you think and the way you speak to yourself. And these changes may seem insignificant, but I'm telling you, they can have the most profound impact on your life. They can completely reinvent the way you see the world around you. The brain is always looking for evidence to confirm what you have told it. 
So if the story in your mind is things are always shit and never working out for me, your brain is going to cherry pick everything in your life that reinforces that. This is why when people start to say things like, show me how it gets better, I know it can get better than this. It starts to, because your brain is going to start looking for evidence for that to be true. It's a confirmation bias, and it doesn't have to be rooted in negativity. Your brain will start to cherry pick the things that are good, and that show that life has the capacity to be better. Your mind is just doing its job. It's looking for proof to reinforce the reality that you have created for yourself up there. So be intentional about the reality you're creating. Start thinking to yourself more positively. Think more proactively. Speak to yourself more positively. Take responsibility for everything going on in your life, even if it wasn't your fault. Hold yourself accountable for your part. It's your fucking life. I guarantee you do these things. I guarantee you over time, life will open itself up to you in ways it hasn't before, especially, especially if you're going through something dark right now, because I know it can almost feel like junk food to sit there and, and dwell on the past and think re and rethink the past and try and change the past just by thinking about it and fucking sit there and wish and hope harm on your enemies and the people who hurt you. But you got to make a concerted effort to stop bringing that negativity into your life. Leave that toxic past in your past. You have to make that concerted effort to bring more positivity into your mind. Think more positively. Think more proactively. Speak to yourself in a more positive tone. If you got stress left over, get your ass up and go to the fucking gym. Let it out. I guarantee you each and every one of these things is going to help put you on a more positive path in your life. I guarantee you can hold me to that. So what do you say we get started? I never considered that thinking about your problems all the time and talking about your problems all the time li literally make the problems grow. That's right. I mean, it's the number one symptom of depression is what they call rumination, this pathological mm. obsessing over your pain. Yeah. That's why stuff like exercise, that's one of the reasons, aside from chemical reasons, one of the reasons that doing anything, you know that running errands is good for your mental health, getting out of your house and accomplishing anything yeah. is good for you. But sitting around talking and thinking about your problems, that's a bad habit. In life, you find what you're looking for. If you are looking for negativity and pain, you will find it. And if you are looking for joy and happiness, you will find it. I think you would give me everything you own in 25 years time to be the age you are now and as healthy as you are right now. And I think it's a really interesting meditation to think about if you had a time machine 30 years in the future, if you could be this healthy and feel this good and be this age, you'd give everything materially that you own to be back here. Just to take a moment to think about, wow, this is amazing. 